Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kodiak here, and today I'm going to show you how to find the Rotten Larva Blade. This is a fantastic early game weapon in Grounded. We're going to do this in real time, because there's nothing better than a guide that takes you from point A to point Z. So, here we go. We're going to leave our starting zone here. I am playing in third person, so you guys have a better understanding of where I am. We're going to stop here and pick up these mushrooms. If you're just starting your journey, uh, picking up the mushrooms, these pebblets here, really super duper helpful, especially when you're about to go to an analyzer area. And then we're just going to kind of keep moving through. You can ignore these mites here. you got to be careful of them. They will aggro on site. So once you pick the mushrooms up, you're just going to keep heading this general direction. This kind of leaf on the hill here is a good landmark. Go right under that. A couple more pebbles on the ground if you want to pick these up. That's great. And this is what we're looking for right here. You see this big log? This is exactly what we want. We're going to drift to the right side of this thing. There are probably going to be some more mites. You're going to actually get sap on this thing. That's another thing you're going to want to pick up. There's a big section of sap right here. This is fantastic. Sap, pebblets, sprigs, mushrooms. It's all good stuff. And we're going to keep moving forward here. As you can see, there was a mite that just dropped down behind me. This first analyzer is right here on the left. You can use this analyzer if you want. But what we're really looking for is right past the analyzer over here by the hot dog holder. This kind of orange leaf tent. As you can see, we're in this kind of like sprig forest. Pick up your sprigs. And look at that. We've got a weapon right here, the Rotten Larva Blade. This thing is awesome, guys. It's kind of like a dagger. It's super duper fast. Look how fast I can attack with it. Doesn't take a lot of stamina up. You can get at least four or five combos before you run out of stamina. So it's a really good weapon. I'll see if I can aggro something here for you, just so you guys can see what it kind of does in combat. Let's see if these guys will come down to me. Come here, mites. Come here. There we go. Jump down. There we go. So check this out. Boom, boom, boom. Three hits, dead. Easy peasy. Another one. One, two, three, dead. So it's a really, really powerful early game weapon. One of the best in the game at this point. Of course, obviously, you have all of the advanced weapons, the tier two weapons that are in the game. But if you're looking for a strong weapon right out of the gate, you can get the Rotten Larva Blade in, what do we take, 30 seconds there? Two minutes? Somewhere between 30 seconds and two minutes, you're going to get a great weapon. You're going to be right by an analyzer here so you can start your crafting and, and all of your exploration. And it's just a great way to start your, your entire grounded experience. So if you guys have any questions about finding the Rotten Larva Blade, let me know in the comment section below. If you want more grounded content in your feed, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, folks, my name is Cody Atkin from everyone here at Legion Gaming. Thanks for watching and play on.